Hey, thanks for stopping by High and Chef Billy Parisi here, and I've got a beautiful grilled red snapper going with some roasted corn. This snapper is absolutely gorgeous, and when you visit Heinen's, be sure to tell the poissonnier or butcher to completely scale it and clean it. What we want to do now is take three thin slices on each side of the snapper. This allows it to stay nice and flat on the grill so it doesn't curl up. And we're going to stuff it up, so go ahead and slice up an orange, lemon, and lime. Next, we want to drizzle Heinen's own Italian dipping olive oil all in the inside and outside of the snapper. We also want to season the inside and outside of the snapper with salt and pepper. Next, we're going to stuff them up with all that citrus, some slivered garlic, and some fresh thyme and fresh oregano. Seriously, I can barely wait to try these. They look fantastic and the infused olive oil smells fantastic. You are going to absolutely love it. What we want to do now is make a little herb butter. So we're going to go ahead and chiffon out some basil, add it to some softened butter. We're going to sprinkle it with a little salt and pepper, and we're simply going to whisk it until it's nice and combined. On a separate plate, we are going to shuck some corn. We're going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. Normally, I would season it with salt and pepper, but that is what the seasoned herb butter is for. Right now, what we want to do is put this red snapper right on a smoking hot grill between 450 and 550 degrees. Since the corn doesn't take that long to cook, once we flip the red snapper, that's when we're going to put the corn on the top back rack. The snapper should take between 8 and 10 minutes on each side to completely cook. And in case the flames get too big, be sure to add ice cubes to the grill. We're going to come back in. What we want to do is take all that citrus out of the inside, and it's time to eat. Red snapper is a very delicate fish, so be careful when grilling it because it does have a tendency to stick to the grill. If you're not that comfortable while grilling it, no shame in taking it off and finishing in the oven on 350 degrees for between 12 and 14 minutes. Be sure to see all of our videos on Heinen's.com and get all these amazing ingredients from your favorite Heinen's fine food source. I'm going to get started eating. We'll catch you next time.